This morning, nearly half a million people in, o <coughs> excuse me, in Ohio and Michigan still cannot use their tap water pollution in, in Lake Erie is causing unhealthy levels of toxins. Authorities say it's still too soon to lift an emergency ban. Adriana Diaz is in Toledo, Ohio, where the water supply has been off limits since early Saturday. Adriana, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. We're entering the third day of a water crisis here, and these water purification machines are ready to go. They can process up to 1,500 gallons of clean water an hour. Test results that came in overnight were encouraging, but the mayor says they're still too close for comfort. We are still in status quo. The non-consume is still in place. Early this morning, Toledo Mayor D. Michael Collins said he's not ready to lift the ban on drinking water. I've instructed our people to go resample and retest because I am not going to take any chances with this community's well-being and health. The ban impacts three counties in Ohio and one in Michigan that get their water from Toledo Supply. It's drawn four miles off the coast of Lake Erie. On Saturday, health officials declared the water supply off limits after dangerous levels of microcystin, a toxin that comes from algae, were detected after a massive bloom in the lake. If ingested, microcystin can cause nausea, rashes, and damage the liver. For nearly half a million people in the Toledo area, safe water became an increasingly scarce commodity. Over the weekend, volunteers gathered at a local high school to hand out bottles of water to the city's residents. The Ohio National Guard utilized water purification systems, the same kind troops used in Iraq and Afghanistan. At food stores, lines are long and shelves are bare. Tracy Rhodes drove more than an hour to Detroit's suburbs on Sunday to find bottled water for his family after taping his faucets shut. We have four members in the house here, my wife, my mother-in-law, my niece and they need water. You have to do what you have to do and make sure water is provided. Additional lab results could be released in a matter of hours. The governor has promised to look into the cause of the contamination so this doesn't happen again. Vanita. Adriana, thank you.